Now forget those people. Relax, enjoy yourself. Sit down. Thank you, though. Thank you. Thank you. Boy. Oh, man. Those people over there. <laughs> Let me tell you who they are. Those. <laughs> <laughs> Those are people who watch yesterday's football games in the television department at Kmart because they don't have TV. Like that. right. That's what it yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Yes. Oh boy. Here's my mark right here. Uh, welcome to the Arsenio Hall Show. I'm Harry Connick Jr.'s younger brother, Harry Connick Jr. Jr. I <laughs> guess that's what it would be. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Harry's back there. Really? Yeah, he's hanging out. Yeah. See? See, now, wait a minute. Let me tell you something. What's he doing back here? Hey, well, he's hanging out, and I said, you should come out. And he said, oh, they won't know who I am, you know? He thinks... Oh, man, everybody yeah, knows Harry, Harry thinks that people still don't know who he is. He thinks he'll walk out and you'll say, oh, Flip Wilson, or something like that, you know? No. You know Harry, right? Yeah. See? Wait. Harry! Come here. Thank you. Sit right there. All right. See? He, he actually told me, actually, the name you used, you said, they'll think I'm Chris Isaacs. Yeah, I was worried, man, because I, I saw him on, I thought it was me. I saw one of his videos. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I saw all the naked ladies. And I said, oh, no, that's not my video. I'll tell you that. <laughs> OK, that's an interesting point. Um, when I watch your videos, and I, I love all kinds of videos, but the thing I notice about your videos is there are no scantily clad Women. Say naked, man. Naked women. And, uh, you know, like, I never see you turn around and your booty's hanging out of your pants like Prince or something. You know? <laughs> Where are those yellow pants that you don't wear? Now, why are your videos like they are? I just don't, I just don't think it's necessary, man. And it, this isn't an applause cue. I just, I just don't think, it, I just don't think it's right, man. Like, if my dad saw women dressed like that or me dressed, you know, doing something. Like with your butt hanging out of your pants? Yeah, he'd just say, man, what, what, what the hell is wrong with you, son? <laughs> And, uh, and... <laughs> and I would do the same, uh, same for my kid. Now, if, if you were in my video with your butt hanging out, he'd say, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you ever had the pleasure of seeing him perform live. It, it's a really wonderful show, and, and it shows That's you an era. One dude clapped up there. <laughs> All right, I saw it. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I went in the wrong line. <laughs> It's a good show, and, um, and you have a certain kind of soul I didn't know you had. You do a, a gospel-like thing in the show, and you'll swear Aretha was in the house if you close your eyes. You know, I mean, he just, where did you get that from? Uh, well, my mother is Aretha. <laughs> and, uh, so that's basically where I got it from. Uh. No, I, I just, I, I grew up in New Orleans, and, I, and like, there's so much great music down there, jazz, uh, uh, New Orleans traditional jazz, uh, the Meters, the Nevilles, all those great, a lot of great music and great uh, churches, Baptist churches down there. And I would go with my dad a lot of times and sit in and, and learn and try to um, uh, learn as much as I could about it because that music is, is just awe-inspiring. It really is. Yeah, and the reason you're on the lot today uh, is because you're filming an episode of... Cheers! Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's really, can I say, it's... This is the first time that I've ever done anything like this, ladies and gentlemen, like going on stage and, you know, it's almost like doing a play, a short play. And the, the writing on this show, it's just, it's just really funny. I, I'm really, ex I'm, I'm honored to be a part. When, it, when I saw Ted Danson and Kirsty and all the people on the, they, they're just all pros and, and the writers are so great. I'm, I, I hope, uh, I hope I don't forget my lines. It, no, it, they'll, I, they'll help you. Okay. You, you're with the best over there, man. And speaking of the best, uh, you're engaged now. That's right. Yeah, Jill Goodacre. Uh, yes. Oh, they're disappointed. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, let's call it off then. <laughs> uh, let's, wait, where, Jill, come here. Can you come here? Come here, Jill. Come out here. There's Jill. She can sit with us. Hi. How you doing? Come on, sit with us. Hey, this hey, one. hey. It's a family show. Have her sit Hi. between us here. Um, how did he propose to you? It's a secret. Oh, OK. <laughs> OK. That's always good for a talk show. <laughs> Can't talk about that. What are you going to ask me now, buddy? It was very romantic. 
It was. <laughs> See, I can't talk to you with him behind your head because he makes me laugh. Um, why don't you, because they're going to go crazy if you don't sing, so sing something, maybe. Not me. <laughs> I, I'm only going to sing no. if you sing, too. No, oh, no, 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 no. I do comedy. And you want him to sing? No, no. Hey, we're, yeah, we're going to do something together. A little bit of me and a whole lot of you. Add a dash of starlight and a dozen roses too. Then let it rise for a hundred years or two. And that's a recipe for making love. It doesn't need sugar, cause it's already sweet. It doesn't need an oven, cause it's got a lot of heat. Just add a dash of kisses and make it all complete. Cause that's the recipe for making love. Yes, that's the recipe for making love. That's the recipe <laughs> for making love. Harry Connick Jr., Jill Goodacre.